Hey there, it's John with Heroes and Legends, and it's a good day to open some packs of Fate Reforged. I just opened some cons of Tarkir. I'm going to post that video first, so check it out. Uh, we had some great pulls. I actually got three, three fetches out of six packs, which is awesome. So I said to myself, I'm on a hot streak. I've been promising video after video I'm going to get a good a big Fate Reforged pull, and we got a good one last time, but I want a great Fate Reforged pull. So, we're going to open six packs of Fate Reforged and see how we do. I feel it. We're due. It's time to get that huge pull. Um, but we're riding pretty high on the cons we just opened. So, I'll quickly flip through the commons get to our uncommons and rares. First uncommon, Mardu Woe Reaper. Battlefront Krushak. Meringue River Prowler. In our rare is Dragon Scale General. So what do you guys think of Fate Reforged? I've had, I've had fun with it. I think it's been a fun set. The rares are crazy powerful for the most part, especially in limited. You don't feel bad about your rare, hardly ever. And there's some great uncommons too, but it's been a fun set. It breaks it breaks up kind of what cons was. It makes it feel like a completely different format when you play it with cons. Catch defenses, Lotus Eye Mystics. Ruthless Instincts, and we get a Mythic, Warden of the First Tree, and we got a Foil, Bloodfire Enforcers, there's that Bloodfell Cave, it's always looking like a Bloodstained Mire too. <laughs> um, so that's a cool pull, not really as exciting as a, everyone compares that card to Figure of Destiny. I do think Figure Destiny was a much better card, but still a fun card to play. It'll be fun to play in Limited. Frostwalker, Mardu Shadow Spear, Dark Deal, and Dogater the Adamant. I think I mentioned the last Fate Reforged video. I still play with these cards. I hate to open up cards, magic cards, and I don't play with them. So I play Seal. We put the packs together after we open them. My wife and I play. A couple times a week we'll play. We'll usually do like we'll build a deck and then do like best of seven. Huge Stone Retainers. Obs on King Guard. Shifting Loyalties and our rare is a Sil Silmugar of the Drifting Death. So what's cool with that is you get a rare that's maybe not worth that much, but you get to try it out, you get to play it in a game. It kind of makes it worth opening the pack and spending the money on the packs. <laughs> I've been collecting magic for a long time. I. I play as much as I can, but sometimes I'll buy it just because I like the product. Ward Scale Dragon, Goblin Boom Keg, Quasi High Priest, and our rare is a Teamer War Shaman. That's a great card too, Unlimited. Fantastic Limited card. Get a lot of power. You get 6 7 power and toughness for 6 mana. All right, here's our last pack. So we did get one Mythic, so not bad. We want that crazy pull though. This is it. I feel it. This is gonna be the pack. Yeah, first uncommon, Hungering Yeti. Frostwalker. Dragon's Rage. And our rare is Shamanic Revelation. Oh, foil supplicant form, supplant form. So pretty cool. That actually looks really nice. Nice foil. So, hey, thanks again. Please remember to like and subscribe. Appreciate you watching and um, 
Have a great day.